of great news value. We have Richard Sakaritas from uh, Equality Matters here, who, who can Hi, tell us. Uh, you know, there has been a big month in the in the gay rights community. First off, the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. But you know, the thing that really turned everybody's head at the end of the month was during this press conference. President Obama said he has an evolving uh, position, or he, his thoughts are evolving on the issue He's of gay wrestling. marriage. He said he was wrestling with it, wrestling with it, and right. then he was constantly evolving. So what does that mean? Well, then I noticed uh, Vice <laughs> President Joe Biden, uh, two or three days later, said to Good Morning America that he thought um, that a national consensus on the issue of marriage uh, equality was inevitable. Not that he, he didn't say that marriage, uh, he didn't say that gay marriage was inevitable, he said a national consensus was inevitable, which is even, I think, better, you know, if you're a supporter of... Uh, equal marriage rights for everybody across the board. I mean, look, I think it, it's breathtaking, right, how quickly the public opinion has shifted in this. And we're seeing now over 50 percent of the American people saying that they are comfortable with, they think that uh, gays and lesbians ought to have the same rights to marry as heterosexuals. Uh, so it, the, 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 rapid, the rapidness with which the public opinion here has changed is remarkable. Uh, just five or six years ago, you, know, you saw numbers in the 20s. So uh, I think the president, the vice president, the Democratic Party are responding to that. You know, the Democrats have been out front on gay rights uh, forever. And this is part of that, part of an extension of that, I think. Although you did see that a number of Republicans were really w helped Don't Ask, Don't Tell, right, that crossed over. So what role do Republicans play in all this? Especially, look, they're taking control, obviously, of the House. They're going to have more power in the Senate. Can anything get done without Republican support on this? Well, there's a big debate about w what role Republicans are playing in, uh, in gay rights right now. Um, and it's you're either sort of a glass half full type person or a glass half empty type person. All right, and where person. are you? Are you? I, I, I'm definitely a glass half full because I think that uh, you see uh, Ted Olson, the former Solicitor General, bringing this very important marriage case out in uh, in California. Uh, you see people like Laura Bush saying that they think gay marriage is coming. Um, you see other very prominent Republicans, Ken Melman, among others. Uh, saying that, uh, uh, you know, being comfortable enough to come out and talking about these issues. So I think that the Republicans are, there's a lot going on in the Republican field. We may even have a Republican candidate for president this year, this next time, who supports gay marriage. However, what the really? They could yes, make it through a Republican primary? No, I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'm not going to, not who's going to make, no, in the primary, someone in the primary. Oh, okay. One of the people running in the primaries. I don't. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it will be a Republican Party plank. But on the other hand, the congressional wing of the Republican Party is much more conservative on these issues. And it is extremely unlikely in the next two years that we will get any important gay rights legislation through Congress. That's why our new group, Equality Matters, is mostly focused on developing communication strategies that are going to change hearts and minds, that are going to change hearts and minds of policymakers, but also of the public. Now the you know, but this is the most local of issues. There's a you know, correct me if I'm wrong. There's probably very little Congress can do. Uh, you know, you're going to see local localities really take the forefront on this. Is is that wrong? I mean, it, what can President Obama really put into his plank in 2012 to make the the gay rights community happy about this? Well, it's both. You're right that it is a local issue, and that you know, states and localities govern things like marriage rights and 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 a lot of these other rights that we're concerned with. But on a national uh, in terms of a national platform and what Congress can do, Congress can do a lot. First of all, there's this federal anti-gay marriage law which says that no matter what the localities do, the federal government has to can only recognize right. opposite-sex marriage. So that needs to be repealed. That is a, a big priority of the you know, gay rights movement and of our group, uh, our group, New Group Equality Matters. Um, in terms of um, in, in terms of the there's a lot going on in the court cases and in terms of the court court of public opinion you know people like President Obama carry a lot of weight and he could really lead on this the most important thing he can do now he and the Democratic Party and other prominent Democrats is recognize that if you're a progressive if you're for civil rights now you have to be for marriage. Well, do you equality. think that he is doing that right now? Is he doing I think he's starting it? to do it. I think it's very interesting this kind of middle ground he's staked out for himself. Right, it's very unusual for a president to say publicly, uh, you know, I was here, 
Uh, some people think I need to be here. I'm not there yet. I'm some, somewhere sort of in the middle. I'm not exactly sure where I am. I'm wrestling with it. I'm constantly evolving. I mean, the truth is, is that it's very rare that we see someone having this public discussion with themselves, a president having a discussion with himself in public. So I think he's trying to send some signals. I think he's kind of trying to test the waters a little bit, try to send some signals. What if my, what if my position changed? What would people think? You know, what kind of reaction is it to people? What kind of reaction does he get to people saying that he's thinking about it? I think he's gotten a good reaction because I think the country is ready for this. I think culturally um, the country has progressed so much further on these issues of equality uh, than um, we have in Congress or in, in our politics. I mean, look at what's on TV. I mean, the, the, the high school kid on Glee has a boyfriend, a Fox show, you know? I mean, and we're talking about hospital visitation rights still in the Congress.